go back to the assassination attempt itself and follow it in, in slow motion because it is, first of all, this has almost lifted itself into a, a kind of a spiritual dimension, at least if you're a religious person. If you're not a religious person, you've got to say that there's something eerie going on here, something massively coincidental, something that, well, borders on the providential, even if you can't go, go all the way. And here's why. If you look at Trump speaking, just one second before the shoot, the shots rang out. And if you hold him in that position, and then the shots ring out, Trump would have taken a bullet through the side of his head. It would have gone through his brain. If he wasn't killed instantly, he would be severely damaged. He would be brain damaged. He would be in, in intensive care right now. In some ways, the implications of that are almost too large to contemplate. I saw Vivek Ramaswamy and he goes, if, if Trump was killed, America would have ended yesterday. Wow, what a statement. But the point is that Trump didn't have to do anything. He just had to hold still and keep speaking. And this bullet aimed to kill him would have at the very least gravely injured and possibly killed him. Instead, at the last moment, he moves. He turns, and as a result of turning, the bullet comes from the side, grazes him on the ear, and passes without entering his head. And as a result, Trump's life is saved. In fact, Trump's life is saved to such a degree, and this almost seems a little downright unbelievable, that Trump actually made golf tea time this morning. Yep, I'm not kidding. Here's a picture. I'm just gonna hold it up. You may not see it all that clearly, it's Trump on the golf course. And um, I mean, first of all, this is an amazing like recommendation for golf. I'm thinking of taking it up myself because think of the appeal of this sport, man. You're, you're taking a bullet in the ear and then the next morning it's like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta make my golf game. But that's Trump. It's the, the unbelievable tenacity of this man. And of course, look at his tenacity in the moment. Can you think of anyone taking a shot I mean, even when Reagan took a shot, boom, Reagan goes down, the Secret Service grabs him, they fling him in the car, and we'll come back to the issue of the Secret Service, which I want to talk about in some detail, but the Secret Service in Reagan's time seems to have been 10 times as competent as the sort of DEI version of the Secret Service, the kind of Ghostbusters cops, the, the, the Secret Service light, if you will.